Hello everyone. Hello there. For the last couple of weeks we've been talking about decision making, making choices, making decisions and we've looked at it at different angles and we've discovered how many faceted it actually is. Um, there's, so, there's so much to making choices and decisions and we, we don't always realize how it is part of daily living. Constantly we're making decisions. But while in that process, uh, we've discovered that we've, we might have assumed certain things or a certain aspect that's actually very important. Mm, actually a very, very basic mm. um, principle from which decision making um, uh, would would be forthcoming mm. and i think um we we coming from a certain background so we we sort of felt that or, or we didn't actually realize that it's something that we really have to talk about and put it out there mm. and that is your stance towards life and um, the perspective that you have on life and the, 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 the purpose and the meaning of your life. Mm. So uh, in terms of specifically discernment and uh, what we talked about, the Ignatian spirituality, um, and for us personally, that would mean that we make decisions from a very basic principle of living a life that is drawing us closer and closer to union with God. Mm. So all decisions that we are making, and we'll talk about that a little bit now, all decisions that we are making is supposed to be made from that place of, is this thing that I'm deciding upon um, something that draws me closer to God, or is it something that actually pushes me away from this relationship and in saying relationship with God it's mm, so mm. important not to not to use it as a cliche yes yes um, because we just sort of switch off when we hear relationship with God because we think it means um, I have to jump through the hoops I have to uh, make sure that I live in a way that God will um, will actually accept me as mm. a good person and mm. that's not at all what we're meaning Mm, mm. Um, this has more to do or, or everything to do with living from a place of that divine spark mm. that was put in us by God and that image of God that we are presenting to the world mm. and to live in accordance with that mm. and to grow ever more uh, uh, um, um, showing that mm. almost that. almost um each one of us being an expression of God yeah. and living a life uh, ec uh, being true to that expression. Exactly. Yeah. And, and it might sound strange that we say that every decision has to come from that place mm. to, to, to really be sure that that is what we are doing. That is what we are busy doing because that is the purpose of our life. Yeah. Yeah. And often that's not what we make decisions, what, why we make um, decisions. We often make the decision out of, out of desperateness mm. uh, or desperation, out of fear, mm. um, out of hurry. Mm. Uh, we often, and it feels like you should now go through a, a very big uh, process of making a decision, but it's not that. It's more taking a step back and really looking at your life Deciding what your life is about, what is important in your life, mm. what gives it meaning and purpose. Mm. And to live like that, and from that, the decisions then flow quite organically mm. in terms of that purpose. And there's congruence, there's a unity. It's that thing that we often come back to, there's, there's this feeling of something woven from one fabric. Mm. Mm. I think it is important to state that when we talk about decision making, when we talk about discernment, when we talk about choices, all of that, we're not talking about a technique. So in other words, my life is in 
chaos and I have to make certain choices and now I follow these steps one two three four and these steps are very practical and will bring me to the right decision and it also sort of makes me feel that I'm bringing God into the picture now yes yeah. so it's, it's what not, is God's will in yeah, this so, mm. so I'm living a life that does not have this definite stance and purpose or I haven't thought about it and so when I'm confronted with a big decision and I'm I don't know which way to turn and I hear about this technique then I say okay this is a way to do it and and God is in on this mm. but that is actually not utilizing um, um, decision making in the way that I think uh, would be beneficial for anybody not for you or anybody because you are not making it from a deep place of of um, growing towards more wholeness growing um, towards that unity with God mm, mm, mm. so making decisions and discerning is not so much a technique as it is a whole stance towards life yeah um, and it ties into that you can't make good decisions by living a destructive life yeah, yeah. Um, it must, makes like it. Said, it must be congruent. Yes, yes. So, so yeah. Um, and that doesn't mean we're not saying you can't make good decisions um, without having a perfect life. Yeah, no, that's definitely not that. That's because none of us have that. No, um, that's not what we are saying. We are saying is we live in this relationship with God. And this relationship with God is intimately tied in terms of our relationship with ourselves. We constantly come back to that. God takes us so seriously that the relationship with God is intertwined with the relationship towards ourselves. And when we are good to ourselves, when we really live towards uh, what what stirs deep in us our loves our passions and so on yeah. then our principles the our things principles are really, that are really important to us yes yes and i think it that may be then what we're saying is your life doesn't already need to have all of those in it but it's necessary to take just maybe a moment and and, and ask yourself what it is that I want in life, what it is that I that I need in life, um, in terms of the 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 things that will help me grow. Yes. Um, into my full potential. Yes. So so and that might be like you said in Afrikaans version to play the devil's advocate, that even what you are deciding on, what to eat. Uh, what social media to watch or not watch, uh, what the what the contents of uh, what you're reading, your friends, um, all of that will all your decisions in terms of normal life mm. will also be affected by this stance towards life. Yes, the way that you see your life as a life of of meaning. Yes, yes. because I think that's something that we can also say is that. Um, if we say relationship with God, it's sort of an abstract, very and theoretical, theoretical. But if we say that it it can be equal to living a life with purpose and meaning. Yes, beautifully then said. Then it makes it so much more practical because I know what gives my life meaning, and it might be different to what gives your life meaning. Yes, and I know that the purpose is to live a life with God in God. Mm. And, and and also it's that you spoke of that woven from one fabric it's not that we have to get into the weave and try to to, to become part of it we are already part of it but yes. we are not aware of it yes so it's growing into that awareness of that that being interwoven with everything mm. Mm. and and all decisions then must be towards that goal yes yes um because it, it might mean 
you get a job offer. Say you live a life where nature is very important to you, you want to uh, respect it and um, protect it. Uh, so nature is very important to you. Human relationships are important to you. Now you get a very, very lucrative job offer where you are exploiting people mm. um, or you are going about in such a way that you are plundering resources, natural resources. Somehow it is going against the grain of how you are living and it will not be a good decision. Yeah, so it has to do with extrinsic values, intrinsic values, the things that we normally take for granted in terms of how to make a decision is how much how much money, how much easier will it make my life mm. in terms of um, living conditions and all those things. But then you really have to measure it against your 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 main purpose in life. Yeah. What it is you are moving towards and whether that is helping that or going against that. Yeah. And I think it's important. And that's why we uh, we are saying maybe we jumped the gun a little bit because mm. we we assumed that these things are in place because it's so uh, it is so important that it's almost invisible yeah yes it's 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 so yeah, yeah. Uh, part of the fabric of decision making yeah. but it plays a, a a very very important role if if we not in this good relationship with God translated if we not living a life with purpose and meaning and a purpose and meaning that is that that applies to me that intrinsically intrinsically in, in sync with my with my true self that's it um if we don't live according to those values, then the decisions will uh, will not be good decisions. Yeah. But it can be that we don't have a um, um, what is the word um, a conscious knowledge of such a life. So it's also about conscious living so that you know what is important to you. Mm. It can be that you don't nurture such an inner life. And then you jump from decision to decision to decision because you're not familiar with your own inner being. Mm. Mm. So there's a consciousness mm. involved in this yeah. and a consciousness as to what is important to me. Yeah, And I don't think you really need to be able to put it on a list. No. Uh, to make good decisions, but it, it has to be that there is an intention towards this. Yes. Almost a decision that my life has to be a life of purpose and meaning, whatever that means, wherever that takes me, and then to follow the cues. Yeah. Um, so it's not like you have to have this down pat on a, on no. a, on a, on a, on a piece of paper, and it's more about a stance towards life, and then to trust that process of leading you there, also then by the decisions that you're making. That's it. That's it. Yeah. So just um, to end it off, what do you feel gives your life purpose and meaning at this stage? Practical example. I think, and I've said it so many times, but the older I get, the more I see the value in it. It's a return to basics. And it is as simple as taking the walks for a uh, the, the, <laughs> the, the walks for, for a dog. dog. <laughs> the dogs for a walk in the afternoon. Because it's nice to be with them. It's physical exercise and I'm in nature. I can see spring is here. Mm. Uh, there's buds on on the trees and there's an openness to that. But it can be making my bed in the morning. Mm. If I start the day with an unmade bed, it is, 
And now I'm not saying being perfectionistic. No, no. But For you personally, that's important. Yes. Yeah. And it is, this is one thing that I've done for myself. I know tonight I get into a crisp bed. And it's almost like paying respect to yourself. That's it. I respect myself enough to make my bed so I can get. But it, it, and it, and that's why I say it's very individual and very, I think for me, um, something that really gives my life meaning is to be creative. Yes. To be busy creating something. So then, that, so it's just to show that there are many different things. And like George with nature, uh, being in touch with the seasons. Um, uh, and, and it's not something that's going to change the world because I am in touch with the seasons. No. But there is something about that bringing out what, what my true self is. Yes. And that is yes. what I can offer the world, yes. is my true self. So it's, it's not a PhD or anything, mm -hmm. but is doing simple, basic things. Mm -hmm. A simple life, mm -hmm. I find, with, with solid content. Mm -hmm. uh, eating well, eating what you know is good for your body. Have a, have a spiritual practice. Yeah. Um, that helps in weaving this cloth of one fabric. Yeah. Mm. Quite a dense talk this week. <laughs> dense fabric. Dense fabric. <laughs> yeah, we hope we really managed to pack it a bit, unpack it a bit. Yeah. But please let us know. Um, we would love to mm. hear from you. Yeah, often we start the conversation. Uh, more with a question than an offering and as we go along we we say so why is this an issue for us and we try to unpack it and I hope uh, uh, we've helped you in the process talk again next week have a nice week everyone bye bye bye